to give you and i want you to pray it from the depth of your heart this is a very prophetic season and i do not want you to be careless prayer point number one you are going to cry for the seeing eye the hearing ear capacity to discern what god is doing in your life in this season please open your mouth and pray in one minute grace grace capacity to discern someone is praying Shabalika parakatos kafrede beleketos. Capacity to discern what you are doing. Capacity to interpret the writings on the wall. For koinonia, for my life. Pray for yourself. Lord, what are you saying? What is the blueprint of your doings for the nation in this season? Reveal to me what is the strategy for victory in the days that are ahead call on me and i will answer he says i will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not someone is investing a minute to your destiny you are praying from the depth of your heart zaria pray koinonia global pray following online pray lord grant me capacity to discern the things that you are saying to discern the move of the spirit the wind blow it where it listed you cannot tell when it's coming or where it is going so is one who is led of the spirit discernment 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 give me the eyes to see who are the men you are bringing into my life in this season give me the grace to discern so i do not throw away jesus out of the boat you may throw away jonah but don't make a mistake to throw away jesus thinking jesus is jonah both of them slept jesus was sleeping jonah was sleeping you may throw away jonah but wake jesus don't throw him out of your boat pray for discernment lord how should i do ministry in this season how should i run my family in this season give me the prophetic blueprint for excellence for dominion no assumptions what are you saying in this season lead me to the scripture that becomes a compass for me and the flexibility to follow virgin dimensions in the spirit trusting that they will bring me to my place of destiny in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the second prayer you are going to pray for grace for obedience of number one obedience to scriptures and obedience to what compliant prophetic instructions please lift your voice and pray obedience having the readiness to judge every disobedience the bible declares if and when your obedience is complete someone is praying in one minute someone is praying grace for obedience let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus that even though he was god he considered it not robbery but he humbled himself to die even the death on the cross wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name i like you to pray grace to be obedient grace to be obedient whatsoever he says to do do whatsoever he says to say say whatsoever he says to give give wherever he says to go go hallelujah hallelujah the final prayer for tonight you are going to pray for yourself and all who are connected to you you are going to declare the rod of the wicked 
shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous either through the ministry of men or through demonic manipulations create a spiritual garrison around your life your ministry oh it will not be lost my bishopric will not be taken someone pray in the name of jesus the lampstand that god has lit with his fire it will remain burning to shine the light to everybody go ahead and pray rebuke the spirit of fear rebuke the spirit of pride rebuke the spirit of complacency in the name of jesus this one thing i do forgetting the things that are behind i take away distractions someone is praying in your prayer is the restoration of your prayer life in your prayer is the restoration of your word study life in your prayer is the restoration of your passion for the house of god the disciplines that bring and sustain graces pray satan the lord rebuke you the spirits of witchcraft ancestry manipulators that destroy the longevity of impact i come against you in the name of jesus one minute pray with fire pray with passion from within your spirit cover your children cover your family satan you will not take the life of any of my people satan you will not destroy the relevance of every anybody around me decree it and declare soundness of health increase in wisdom longevity of impact hallelujah hallelujah let me borrow one minute from you and add a prayer point for you one prayer i shall not die pray it violently for yourself and for your children lift your voice and pray just do what i'm asking you to do decree and declare no i shall not die in the name of jesus declare that your ministry will not die Declare that your business will not die. It's not only humans that die. What God has given you can be destroyed by Satan. I shall not die. Pray. I shall not die. But leave and declare the works of the Lord. In this prophetic season, no enchantment, no divination, no weapon no demonic arrow will find expression in my life i stand immune fortified by the blood of the lamb please invest one minute and pray just obey prophetic instructions in the name of jesus christ cover your parents cover your siblings cover your business people cover the people in your ministry in the name of jesus protected by God preserved by God let the mark of the blood be upon you dreams about death dreams of seeing dead people rebuke those dreams right now in the name of Jesus life 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 even forevermore life vitality held in the name of jesus life i cause the spirit of death pray i cause the spirit of death not by accident not by plane crash not by the activity of wicked men you are immune the eyes of evil will not see you it will not see your children No, I am.
has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to His work in me till Christ be formed. No eye has seen, say. No ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to His work in me till Christ be born. One more time. No eye has, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to His work. be formed in me till your power rests on me your glory revealed through me so I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me this is a moon this is a moon This is the moon. This is the moon. Let me give you an assignment. As you go home, please use this week to listen to this message again. Don't assume that just because you were here, you heard it. If you are a man of God, listen again. There is the hearing that brings awareness, but there is the hearing that brings understanding. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing there is the hearing many of us we have heard the hearing of awareness but there is hearing unto understanding and he says the he that fell upon good ground is he that heard and understood not just he who was aware hallelujah praise the name of the Lord let me make an altar call right now and then I just speak over our lives I want to plead with us that every time we are making a call. I know that there's a crowd of people. Let's minimize unnecessarily except if you have to. A minute or two spared for the altar call does not stop us from going wherever. Let's as much as possible except if we have to. It's important to practice that discipline. Let's not get too used to ignoring and shrugging of the altar call. There's someone here you heard me speak and for you the first instruction in this season is to make it right with Jesus. You came to church from the prayer to the worship, the testimonies and all that has happened in this service has been prepared by the Spirit himself ultimately to lead you to a point where you see the need for Jesus. It matters that you make Jesus Lord of your life is beyond being a Christian. So I'm making a call right now for someone who came to church in this auditorium, all the overflows outside Zaria and our global family who is saying, Apostle, I need to make it right with Jesus. Or perhaps you are saying, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. I cannot say for sure that I'm walking in the things of God. The times that we live in demand certainty and seriousness. I want to count one to five very quickly for sake of time. And I beseech you to leave your seat and to quickly run and come and stand in front of me. You do same in all the viewing centers, overflows, and all our expressions. Wherever you are, as I count one to five, don't wait for someone to be the first to come. Run and come and stand before Jesus. One, Koinonia, let's celebrate them as they come. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. 
said as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away Azaria family and all who are making this decision as I lead these precious ones in prayer please do join them mean it from the depth of your heart let me request all of you who are in front please lift your right hand if you can high above your head as a sign of surrender and please say this convincingly let it be from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus one more time say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my savior, as my Lord, and as my king. I declare that the power of sin Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. Amen. Father, thank you for these precious people. They have come declaring your lordship over their lives. And based on the authority of scripture, I declare their sins forgiven. In the name of Jesus, the power to live a victorious Christian life, I release upon you right now. And I declare in Jesus' name that you go forward ever and backward never in jesus matchless name we have prayed amen now the counselors are waving the placard at you please do well to just move to my right which is your left they'll have a word with you very quickly and then you'll be back to your seat let's honor them koinonia give them a big god bless you hallelujah don't sin thank you very much thank you for your presence all the pastors who have come thank you we sincerely appreciate and we honor you our international guests thank you thank you for making our time azaria family global community may the lord bless you in jesus name now let me speak over your life one last time in the name of jesus your weak beginning is declared blessed amen. shout a louder amen. amen the testimonies of favor you have received here and you have heard here in the name of Jesus I speak to you prophetically this week is your turn I say it again this week is your turn therefore all the men the networks the relationships the systems that must align themselves prophetically to see to it that you enjoy the goodness of God this week let the power of God make it happen for you I declare fire upon your prayer altar passion to study the word passion for the house of God let the grace of God on your life speak this week and everything that attempts to fight you goes down your children are blessed the works of your hand blessed in the name of Jesus as for you you will only go forward and upward no bad news no bad report no evil news you are preserved only for honor only for glory only for grace shame is far from your life in jesus mighty and matchless name we pray together let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely god's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen